all are welcome. Today we're talking about the Korean leader of BTS, Kim Nam Joon. Kim Nam Joon is a Korean hip-hop star, frontman, and songwriter for the boy band BTS. The vocalist in the band perform K-pop songs, which originated in South Korea and are a mix of electro-pop, hip-hop, and R&B music. Kim Nam Joon and the group BTS are called the brightest representatives of the K-pop genre in the subculture that is becoming more and more popular with young people. The future singer Erm was born September 12, 1994 in Ilsen-gyu, a district in Goyong, South Korea. In addition to the son, the youngest daughter Kim Jong-min grew up in the family. Kim Nam Joon tries not to attract too much attention of the press and fans to his sister and does not tell about her on social media. There is no information about his parents' occupation. Kim's family is a closed book, so he tries to protect his family and does not allow fans and journalists to interfere with his family life. In childhood, Kim Nam Joon was obsessed with the idea of becoming a guard. The boy liked the uniform, and the profession seemed incredibly romantic and covered with glory. At an early age, the boy distinguished himself with curiosity and craving for science. The parents and teachers were surprised by the record set by the boy in the seventh grade. Kim Nam Joon scored the most points in the English school test, leaving all peers behind. The young man had 850 points and was scored in the top 1% of the nation who had similar results. Soon, Kim confirmed these results, passing an IQ test. The IQ of 148 equated the boy with geniuses and Nobel Prize winners. The future vocalist and musician later shared that the comedy series Friends, which disc he asked the mother to buy, helped him learn English perfectly. So, his favorite Hollywood stars Matthew Perry and Jennifer Aniston helped Kim to speak without an accent, using colloquial expressions. In addition to English, the rapper learned Japanese. Later, the language of the land of the rising sun helped the musician to record the Japanese song versions, attracting the army of fans from Japan. Kim Nam Joon graduated from Global Cyber University, where he earned a broadcasting and performing arts degree. Kim made his musical debut under the moniker, Runch Ronda. The young man came up with such a nickname for the computer game MapleStory, and then took it as a stage name. Kim pleased the first fans with solo tracks, which he recorded with a friend, hip-hop singer Zico. But it was just the beginning of his music career, and he became famous much later. In 2010, the BTS group was formed, the first member and the leader was Kim Nam Joon. At that time, he took the stage name Rap Monster, which was later shortened. It had taken the band three years of grueling rehearsals before hip-hop lovers saw BTS and could enjoy their songs. In addition to Erm, the boy band included rappers Suga, Jin, J-Hope, Jimin, V, and Jungkook. If Kim had excellent singing abilities, then he had to improve dancing, which was essential for performances. The rap monster had problems with plastic movements, and the choreographer ironically called him the dancing miracle. Erm was not only the lead vocalist but also a producer and songwriter for BTS. As a rap songwriter, Kim Nam Joon had to read a lot, because rappers' songs become popular only when they are filled with vivid images and deep meaning. But Kim began to devote all his free time to concerts and tours around South Korea and beyond its borders, so he changed a book for a notebook in which he wrote down new and interesting words and statements. In 2013, Erm and BTS became famous. The group won awards and prizes at home and made a significant breakthrough around the world. Erm willingly collaborated with Korean and American colleagues, releasing collaborative songs and music videos. His 2015 solo mixtape Rush peaked at number 48 in the best 50 hip-hop albums of the year. The same year, Erm and American singer Mandy Ventrice recorded the song, Fantastic, which became a soundtrack for the Marvel superhero action movie Fantastic Four. In the summer of 2016, Erm became the producer of the track, Dilemma, recorded by the vocal duo Um. In the spring of 2017, Kim and his American colleague, Whale, delighted fans with the song, Change, and a music video for it. In December 2017, the rapper and the American rock band Fall Out Boy recorded a remix of Champion. Being a member of the South Korean boy band BTS, Joon managed to develop a solo career. 
In 2018, his name was included in a list entitled, 10 Korean Rappers You Should Know, of XXL Magazine. Kim has written dozens of tracks for BTS and other bands. In America, ERM and BTS are stars. The Korean rappers appeared in the talk show Jimmy Kimmel Live. Later, Ellen DeGeneres invited them to her TV show. In 2017 and 2018, the Korean singers were awarded the Billboard Music Awards for Top Social Artist. In the autumn of 2018, the rap monster was awarded the fifth class Wagwan Order of Cultural Merit by the President of South Korea along with the other members of the band. In 2018, Erm released his second mixtape entitled Mono That October, which he referred to as a playlist. He became the first Korean artist to rank number one on the Emerging Artists chart in the United States with the playlist. The playlist was critically well received, with Erm laying his deep insecurities bare on songs like Tokyo and Seoul. The track Seoul was produced by British electropop duo Han. Han first discovered Erm after seeing him recommend their music on Twitter, and eventually met him in Seoul following one of their concerts. The interaction caused the duo to want to collaborate with Erm. That November, Erm also collaborated with Tiger JK on his last and final album as Drunken Tiger before retiring the name, featuring on the track, Timeless. Tiger JK originally expected RM's lyrics to contain self-praise, which was the trend of rap at the time, but Erm wrote the lyrics to leave behind the historical meaning of Drunken Tiger's name. On March 25, 2019, Han announced that Erm had provided a feature on their remake of Crying Over You, alongside singer Becca, which was released on March 27. Han had originally released, Crying Over You, in 2018, with just Becca providing a feature. Chinese singer Bibi Zhou was added to the Chinese release, appearing with Erm and replacing Becca. The same day, Big Hit Entertainment released the song, Persona, as a trailer for BTS' EP Map of the Soul. Persona, performed as a solo by Erm. Persona debuted at 17 on Billboard's YouTube song chart. Three months later, on July 24, 2019, Erm featured on the fourth official remix of Lil Nas X's Old Town Road. On December 29, it was announced that Erm would be featuring on Yoonhae's track, Winter Flower, which was released on January 6, 2020. Erm also features on, Don't, the title track of Korean singer Lee Yeon's second solo album released on April 30, 2021. Erm as a baritone. In 2017, American hip-hop magazine XXL included him in its list of 10 Korean rappers you should know. In January 2020, he was promoted from associate to a full member of the Korea Music Copyright Association. In a survey conducted by Gallup Korea, Erm ranked as the 12th most preferred idol of the year for 2018. He ranked 11th in 2019. In 2018, Erm was awarded the 5th class Wagwan Order of Cultural Merit by the President of South Korea along with the other members of BTS, for his contributions to Korean culture. In December 2020, the Arts Council of Korea named him one of its 10 2020 Patrons of the Arts, in recognition of his donation of 100 million won to the National Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art for the printing and distribution of various rare art books to schools and libraries in rural and mountainous regions. The hip-hop star has neither a wife nor children. And it is unknown whether Erm has a girlfriend or not. Music holds pride of place in his life, forcing his personal life onto the back burner. There is information that Erm and his colleagues signed a contract prohibiting relations. However, they deny it and say that they simply do not have time to pay attention to girls due to the busy tour schedule. The vocalist said in an interview that he dreamed of a fair-skinned girl with a pleasant voice who would wear snow-white clothes and Converse sneakers. The idol of millions of teenagers is 5.94 feet, 181 centimeters tall, weighing 141.09 pounds, 64 kilograms. Kim Nam Joon has a net worth of $8 million. That's all for now. If you liked the video, like it, subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be the first to know about the release of the new video.